please support my channel by clicking on this red subscribe button right below the video. Once you get subscribed to my channel, do not forget to click on this bell icon right next to it in order to get notifications about my latest videos. And last but not least, if you like this video, please click on this like button in order to show me your love. What is up you beautiful people, this is Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. This is going to be the part 2 of the previous video which was how to install Windows on a phone on an Android device. Um, this is exactly not going to be a part 2 but uh, I named it part 2 because uh, it is more into enhancing the performance uh, especially when it comes to boot time of our Windows XP operating system on our Android device. So I will be using my phone which is Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. This is the phone. Actually I broke the I broke the tempered glass. So you guys will see a lot of this uh, you know broken thing when we are on the phone. I'm shooting this video using my new Canon camera which I bought. Now this is the camera on which we are shooting this video. Uh, this is Canon 800D uh, mounted on a tripod. I'm standing right in front of the window just to uh, you know get more of daylight brightness on our face. This is the reason why you guys can see the difference in the video quality compared to my previous video and from now on I will be shooting all of my videos using the same DSLR so yeah again switching back to our main camera I'm getting a lot of comments from my viewers about the part one of how to install Windows on a Android device there's one comment which asked me what is the practical use of this process now guys there are a few things which all of us have to understand in today's world using Windows XP don't make any sense at all I know that there's no need of Windows XP on uh, running on Android we're doing this just to learn if we can make it possible on our phone all of us know that these all are the things which do not come into day-to-day -day use I might be wrong when it comes to settings because because this is the first time I have used this process and this is the first time I have done settings you guys can tweak around with the settings a little bit to get much better performance please do share your settings with us in the comments box down there so that we can also try that settings so yeah no practical use but we are doing this for fun we are doing this for learning things in fact I think my video was the first video on YouTube on which we have installed Windows XP on our phone uh, using the actual image file so we have used an actual image file that was practically not possible but we have made it possible though it was slow but we actually made it possible so guys there are a lot of things which do works that actually require your hard work and your tries I'm going to make one more part of this video and that is part 3 wherein I will be using Windows 7 on our phone I will take some time I will bring up something new for you guys on my channel so enough of the talking already without wasting any further ado let's get started with the video So guys let's start the video this is going to be the part of the video wherein we will be uh, you know uh, making an image file a virtual disk image file first and then we will uh, open an emulator by the help of which we will use that virtual disk which we will be making and we will be installing Windows operating system on that disk that virtual disk image which we are making so I will link the softwares in the description you guys can click on the link and download the softwares which we will be using in this video so I have this new content folder right here uh, which has got all the softwares which we will be needing in this video so for the first one for you know for making an image file uh, a virtual disk image file we will be using bochs i really don't know how to pronounce it but this is probably boast emulator um, it's an image making software so we will be installing this first once we are done installing this we will have to install um, the uh, name of the other software is uh, QEMU, that's Kimu, I think, Kimu Manager, which we have to uh, download and install on our computer. Once we are done installing both of this, we'll have to, you know, run the Boast emulator. So first off, we're going to have to type in Boast uh, on the search box. So once you type in Boast, you will get this uh, application. You're going to have to right click on this and you'll have to click on open file location. Once you click on that, it will open the, uh, uh, you know, Boast emulator box. Uh, I'm going to go to Boast folder. So this is it. If you don't want to get 
into this folder from the uh, search bar you can directly go to my PC and go to C Drive go to program files x86 now in here you have to go to this uh, you know software this uh, folder which is boast I'm gonna go here in it and by the way guys we are using uh, boast uh, 2.6.9 so please do bear this thing in mind that you have to install this one because this one works good so I have installed this version of it so once you are uh, you know once you are in this folder you'll have to go to uh, bximage that's bx image right click on this and you have to click on run as an administrator now once you click on that it will so guys please do make sure you keep this box open this folder open because you guys will notice difference once we are done uh, making a virtual hard drive partition after with you know after, after we are done with this command prompt box so it will open this black command prompt box now here it is asking you to select an option so there are five options from here we have to select one of them so first stands for create a new floppy or hard drive image or hard disk image um, we don't have to you know care about the others we just have to uh, go for the first one because we want to create a hard disk image file so I'm gonna click I'm gonna write type in one that stands for the first one and I'll press enter now in here it's asking us to uh, you know select what option do you want to go for uh, is it the hard disk image which we want to create or is it the floppy disk image we want to create so it's given us an example here HD that stands for hard disk and uh, I'll press enter now what kind of image should I create um, so I'll go for flat and I'll press enter now enter the hard disk size in megabytes between 10 to whatever this is so I am going to create um, so we are installing Windows XP so I think 7 or 6 GB will be more than enough for it so I'll go for 6 GB and I will press enter and it's now asking us to give a name to our hard drive image so I will give uh, winxp.img so I'll press enter and as you guys can see we have the Windows XP image file disk image file here this is the image file which we just created as you guys can see I have uh, 6 gigs of uh, space here so almost 6 gigs 5.85 GB uh, this is the image file and this is the disk image file which we will be using and we will install our Windows XP on this virtual image file and then we will copy this image file to our phone's internal storage in order for our Boost emulator in the phone to boot from it so I will keep this box open I will minimize this for now and I will go to Kimu manager I'll right click on it and I'll click on run as an administrator so once you open the application you will see Kimu manager 7.0 window now you have few options at the top now we'll have to click on VM and we have to go for new virtual machine and here we have to give name to our new virtual machine which we are about to make so I'm gonna give Windows XP dot IMG make sure you type in dot IMG after you give the name to the virtual machine now come here which says operating system and give the name to this operating system I'm gonna give it Windows XP now I'll go next now this is asking us to uh, allocate the uh, RAM to our virtual machine so 2047 maximum possible go for the second radio button which says used use an existing virtual disk image since we have already made one so I'll click on the radio button and now it gave me this box which is asking me to browse for a virtual disk image file so I will click on this uh, small box right here and now it is uh, you know asking me to browse for the virtual disk image file now I'll go to PC 
I will go to C drive, I'll go to program files x86. Here I'll go for boost 2.6.9. Now this is not going to show you the virtual disk image. You'll have to search for it. In order to search for it, you have to type in the name for it. So I'm gonna type in WI and it's giving me the option to select. I'll select uh, winxp.img and I'll click open. And here it is selected in this box. I'll go next and that's it guys. We are done with it. I'm gonna click on finish. And uh, we have the uh, hardware, drivers, advanced, console, and monitor tab on the top here. It is showing me uh, the hardware configuration of this machine. So I'm not going to do anything with this. So I'll go to drives. And now I will load the Windows XP image file into the CD-ROM. So I'll double click on the CD-ROM. And I will search for the Windows XP image file. I have the Windows XP image file right here on the desktop. I'll click on desktop, Windows XP professional. This is the image file and I'll click on open. So this is selected here in this box. I'm going to click on OK. Now our CD-ROM is loaded with Windows XP image file. Things are set up here. Uh, my hard drive is winxp.img. This is the virtual hard drive. And my CD-ROM is loaded with Windows XP professionals image file. Now, at this point, we are good to go. I'm gonna click on launch. That will probably start the installation process of the virtual machine. So we are installing a Windows XP operating system on a virtual drive which we made using our Boast emulator. So first we will install uh, you know, Windows XP. Uh, we will complete the entire installation process. Once the process gets completed, we will be getting a ready to use Windows XP image file uh, which will help us to boot from Windows XP on our phone. So once the installation process gets completed, we will close the Kimo Manager. We will go to Boast folder. We will copy the image file to our phone's internal storage. We'll go to phone, we will do few settings in our Boast emulator on phone and then we will boot from the image file which we transferred from our computer to our phone. Once the process gets complete, I'll stop the video, I'll go to the phone and I'll start with the settings. Alright guys, so we are done transferring the xp.image file to our phone's internal storage. So this is the phone which we will be using for today's video. This is Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. I will go to the emulator and uh, I will make few changes. So for the master drive, we're gonna click on, I mean, we're gonna check, marks the, uh, check mark this box and we will have to uncheck this box which says WeFat and we'll select the image file for our uh, for our operating system which we transferred to our phone's internal storage so I'm going to select this this is by the way from my phone's internal storage I'm going to you know keep these boxes unchecked because you know these boxes are of no use now I'm going to go to hardware okay now the last thing which I have to change is the uh, boot uh, device selection so I'm going to go for disk because we want to boot from the uh, xp.img file uh, for hardware I will change it to uh, EV bridge or IV bridge 
this will be uh, i440 fx size 5446 uh, this is going to be for vga card or else what i can do is uh, okay let's keep it maximum these two will be as it is uh, I'm gonna go for the maximum memory possible. I'll go for miscellaneous. I'll select uh, uh, real time, and uh, I'll keep both of these boxes check. And for video update frequency, I'll keep it for maximum. And I'll start my emulator. I'm gonna keep this aside for a while so that it you know boot from the image file. Okay, I am going to. Click here. So I'm gonna click enter and it will start booting Windows XP. I'll click here to uh, remove the keyboard and it's booting up Windows XP. Compared to my previous video, this is booting a little bit faster. This will boot a little bit faster. Uh, guys, please bear with these scratches. I just dropped my phone and you know, the tempered glass it broke. Well, it's booting up Windows XP. As you guys can see, the boot up was faster. So guys, I think that's probably gonna be it. I know this thing is not gonna work that smooth, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys the other way to get your work done a little bit faster compared to my previous video. I will still have to work on this. So it's working, but uh, I don't think so. It has obtained the maximum speed. Uh, it's still working slow. Uh, a lot of things are still, you know, under process. I mean, if you guys can see, it's not that much responsive, but still, I will have to check with Windows 7. I'll start working on Windows 7. I will make a different video. Let's see if we can go with Windows 7 a better performance than this one. So guys, thanks a lot for joining. So guys, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for being a part of this video. Again, I'm gonna emphasize on the point that these were the steps which I followed in order to enhance the performance of our Windows on Android. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions in regards to this video, you guys can feel free to write your question in the comments box down there. You guys can click on the subscribe button right below this video. Please do not forget to click on the notification bell icon which is right next to the subscribe button. That will help you guys to get the notifications about my future videos. Thanks a lot guys for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.